Hey, what's happening, y'all? Just wanted to report this news real quick. Kevin Pierre Lewis is not coming back to Washington. I'm actually pretty surprised. First of all, because it's for two years, $8 million, $4 million a year, which isn't a lot, especially for somebody that we believe we can groom into becoming our starting wheel linebacker. But also, I mean, I just thought they really liked him. When they brought him over from the Bears last season and started to work with him, yeah, he was inconsistent last season, and he wasn't a certified starter in a 4-3 yet, but it was definitely somebody to groom. You saw flashes, like I predicted before the season even started. I was like, we would see flashes from him. The only thing is to get consistency from him, for him to learn the position better. And that's exactly what we got from him, but sadly, he's going on to the Bears. Again, this is not like a backbreaker, but with Darby leaving, I felt like we already had a needed corner. Now we really have a needed corner. Same thing with linebacker. I already felt like linebacker was serious enough to where if we didn't trade up for quarterback in the first round, my preferred position is linebacker. But now with Kevin Pierre-Lewis gone, depending on how you like Cole Holcomb and Mike or whatever, we need a Will linebacker and a Mike linebacker. I thought we were only going to really need maybe a Will if you could groom Kevin Pierre-Lewis to possibly be a Sam or something. Definitely not a Mike though. And Cole Holcomb is still pretty questionable at Mike, even though I like his talent a lot. But now, I mean, Mike, Will, I felt like we needed a corner number one, even with Kendall Fuller and Ronald Darby gone. Now we need like a one and a two because I feel like Fuller's better in the slot. So, I mean, again, I'm always going to give Ron Rivera and company the benefit of the doubt because every time we felt like questioning them, everything worked out even better than what we originally thought. So, as of right now, be patient. We'll see. Just going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't look great. My logic is just me being optimistic, not necessarily most realistic, is that they're just waiting to sign some of those bigger name guys because negotiations take time for the top talented guys like the really really good guys like a Kenny Galladay a receiver like an Anthony Harris at safety there's probably plenty of teams bidding over them and we're probably just waiting it out to see what we can make happen like we just don't look desperate at an auction 25 million a year you know what I'm saying like we're probably waiting it out to see the least we would have to pay them to win out their services or something I don't know we may go big splash for one position, Kenny Galladay or Anthony Harris, and then go bargain for the rest. We'll see. But it's amazing now that even after signing Dustin Hopkins, we still have $36 million worth of cap space. You have teams in the negative out here signing people. So that's not an excuse for us not to sign a few of these guys if we really, really, truly want them. But I already had us getting Jabril Cox in my trade back scenario in my mock draft I recently came out with yesterday. So this just makes all the more sense. If Jabril Cox makes it to the second round, you have to pull the trigger. Definitely the best will linebacker in this draft. Maybe not the best overall linebacker, but if we're just talking about pure will guy, coverage, all of that, covering the slot receiver, covering the running backs out of the backfield, Jabril Cox is the guy, and I would really hope we can get him. But I dive deeper into him and why we should go and get him in the draft in my mock draft again that I came out with yesterday. But that's really all I had to talk about. I mean, this linebacker group is really interesting. Cole Holcomb, John Bostick, who I definitely don't feel like is a good starter. Solid depth, but like he shouldn't be starting. John Bostick should not be your potentially second best linebacker. I mean, of course, now with Kevin Pierre-Lewis gone, that means my boy Josh Harvey Clemens should get an honest chance at making this team and potentially starting. The potential is there. His coverage was great. He put on all of that weight so that he could become an every-down linebacker and then got hurt and we never got to see him again. And then he opted out of the season because with COVID, he has severe asthma. So, of course, he opted out. He was at a higher health risk than most people. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video, man. Please like it if you liked it. If you learned anything, please subscribe and hit the notification button next to the subscription button so you get notification every time I release news like this, every time I release a live stream, film session, and a couple of more mock drafts coming before the actual draft happens. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all later. Really appreciate y'all. I'm out.